Welcome to Grandmaster Turismo! Right then people, today we have got another amazing car that we've added to our garage. It is none other than the Lambo. It's the Lamborghini V12 VGT and it is an absolute monster of a car. It's absolutely brilliant. We love it. We decided to make a video on it to show you that you can go and get this car whenever you can. It's an absolute monster. It's brilliant. We love it and this is why. Now it costs one million credits to buy but it's definitely worth that amount of money because not only can you customise it to look like the Batmobile, I'll show you that in a minute, it just looks absolutely amazing and it's a really good looking futuristic car that is definitely going to be in my top 10 and not only that, it is new to the Gran Turismo series. I don't think it is a real car but do correct me if I'm wrong, this is a made up car for Gran Turismo 7 and it's absolutely brilliant. Take a look at the inside cockpit view of this car. It's got mirrors all around you as you can see at the top of the screen there. But not only that, it's really fast. It's fast accelerating. It sticks to the track like glue. It's absolutely brilliant. We love it. Check out this. You must get this car in your collection as soon as you can. You won't be disappointed. It's absolutely brilliant. We love it. Very futuristic looking. And like I've said, it does look like to me, it looks a little bit like the Batmobile. I have done another deco, another skin for it. I'll show you that in a minute because I'm quite proud of it. It's quite a good looking Batmobile, I'll show you that. But before we do that, there are some downsides. Now, down points of this is, I mean, some people might think this is a good point, but you can't really put too many mods on it. You can't upgrade it that much because the car has basically got them all already or the NA non-clickable. There are a few things you can do, as you can see there, a few things that I've purchased. But there's not a lot you can do to it because really it's a good car. You don't really need to do too much to it anyway. But the other thing is it only does 220 miles an hour top speed, which is pretty good. But for me, it's in my top 10. I thought I'd show you that because I think it's an amazing car. Go and get it, you're disappointed. Anyway, it's enough for me. Thanks for watching. There's a button below.